Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing the Soulflare wallet in Google Chrome on a Windows 11 PC. The setup is very easy to follow. It's just a few quick steps and you'll be up and running. So let's get started. So I'm at my Windows 11 desktop. I have my browser, which is Google Chrome, uh, opened up right now. And we're gonna be installing the Soulflare wallet. So inside Google, I'm just gonna type in Soulflare. So type in Soulflare and I'm searching it. Soulflare.com is the official URL. So we're gonna be clicking on this link here and it's gonna take us to their website. Now you can create a web access wallet or you can add one to Chrome. I'm gonna be doing the Chrome version. And as you can see over here in the top right hand corner, I have uh, MetaMask and Phantom already installed. Uh, so this will be the third wallet I'm installing right now on my browser. There's no problems. You can install as many wallets as you want. So I can click on add to Chrome. It's gonna take me to the Chrome store. And uh, we're gonna click on this link over here and it's gonna add the extension. Just takes a few seconds while it does that. And there we go. So we get the notification that it's there. So we can go into the Soulflare wallet now. So I'm just going to click on the button right over here and it's going to bring us open right now. If you have a wallet and you want to load it in, you can go ahead and put the phrase in right now. I'm going to create a new wallet uh, just for this example. So I'm going to click on the link over here that says create new wallet. So the first thing that wants to do is create a password. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a password right now. There we go. And I'm going to click on next. And now it's giving me a phrase. Now, typically you don't want to show anybody this phrase. It's absolutely crucial that you keep this private into yourself. This is an example. So I'm showing you everything that I have over here. I'm going to copy it to a clipboard right now and I'll just put it in notepad so you can see it right over here. And then what I'm going to have to do is just scroll down a bit here and say that I've wrote down my phrase and now it's going to ask me for uh, the order in which it came in. So I have my snippet tool so I can refer to it very easily. Also have it in a text file, which you will save or print or keep it somewhere safe and private. And now we can continue on to the next step. So we'll just confirm that we have it written down and now it wants you to add it back in order. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now and I'll speed through this step. Okay, so that is done. So uh, it wasn't asking me for random words. Sometimes it does that and that's why I took a screenshot of it. So that's not needed. And then we have all of this saved and we can keep that aside. You should print that out to keep it somewhere safe. Once again, that is, this is your only line of defense of retrieving any Solana or crypto that you have in this wallet. Once you have it all in, you can click on verify and it's confirmed and it's all in here. So. We have it set up. We have the wallet installed in our Google Chrome browser. The link for it will be over here uh, for the extension. So if you want to quickly get access to it, and then what you can do is you have your wallet set up right now. If you want to receive some Solana to this wallet, you can click on here for copy it and it copies it to the clipboard, or you can click on the QR code and you can have this, uh, you can take a picture of this or save this QR code and to send it to anybody that wants to send you some Solana. Right from the wallet, you can go ahead and stake any coins that are in there. So when you do that, you're going to earn 6.6 .6 APY. So that's over the year, you can earn a little over 6%, which is really nice. And they also give you some other options for staking. And if if you scroll down a bit here, let me just say, get this out of the way. They have some limited edition soul. You can go ahead and do that if you have soul in your account. I don't have any. You can scroll down here and you can actually see the wallet for Solana. If you want to add another asset or another coin, you can click on this option over here. And then you have the option to select whichever one that you want. I just go over to the top. So this is the portfolio section. This is where everything is stored for your crypto. Uh, if you're staking it, that is the next part of the wallet over here. And this is where you can go ahead and start staking it. it looks like now it's 8% APY and SLRS also has up to 40%. Assuming you do have some crypto or Solana already in your wallet, you can click on start staking and it'll automatically stake it. And once it stakes it, that means it's going to lock your Solana for the set period of time that you want in order for you to receive a return. Next, we have a swap option here. So you can go ahead and swap. Uh, whatever crypto you want from one currency, like you see listed here, to another one, like you can see listed here, or you can search by type. And then it also lets you know the slippage or any type of fees that you are expected to incur when doing the transaction. And lastly, we have the NFT section. So if you're collecting NFTs on the Solana chain, they will be stored in this wallet. Um, you just have to click on receive NFT and then get your address here. You can copy it. And then you can have your NFTs stored and saved inside your Soulflare wallet. And let's just quickly take a look at the settings over here. When you click on that, 
Um, you can have the mainnet that we're on right now. You can also change the network if you want into dev for development or testnet. You can change your appearance, dark or light mode, and then you have support, and then you have the legacy app. If you click on main account, then you can just modify and create uh, settings. You can modify and change your password or import private keys from other wallets that you may or may not already have. So this is a quick look at the Soulflare wallet on a Windows 11 PC. I'm using Google Chrome. Very straightforward to set up and install. You can get up and running right away and start collecting NFTs or sending and receiving Solano or any other crypto related to it. And that's a quick peek. So if you want me to go into anything specific, like if you want me to purchase an NFT and move it back and forth in wallets, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for other videos related to crypto, you can continue by subscribing to the channel. I'll have a lot more content coming out. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.